gentlemen, you may remember Dr. Nowitzki. She's back at Caltech for her postdoc. Hello. Hi. Uh, le oh, let me bring a chair for you. Oh, thanks. Dr. Nowitzki's going to tell me about the work she did at CERN. And she brought me this duty-free Toblerone. Oh, I love those. Let's sit somewhere else. <laughs> what just happened? A stranger just lured Sheldon away with a candy bar. Wait, isn't she the grad student that used to follow him around? Oh, yeah. Back before he hit puberty and grew man parts. <laughs> so, what do you guys think that's about? Knowing Sheldon, nothing. So, tell me about your scalar dark energy experiment. Not till you tell me about your latest paper on quantum loop theory. Oh, you must be one of those dessert before dinner people. <laughs> He just made her laugh. Something's wrong. Do you see the way she's looking at him? Yeah, like Bernadette used to look at me. I keep telling you, close the bathroom door. Ah, uh, did you see that? She just touched his hand and he didn't swat it away. What is happening? Okay, the simplest explanation is usually the right one. Which is? That ain't Sheldon. <laughs> Did they eat together? Leonard said he made her laugh. That's nothing. Howie said she touched his hand. Well, did he Purell? No. <laughs> I cannot believe Leonard mentioned the Toblerone, but left that part out. Should we call Amy? I don't know. We shouldn't worry her if it's nothing. I guess we could wait till we have more information about this girl. Yeah. <sighs> Do you think living with Amy has somehow stirred up Sheldon's sexual appetite? <laughs> How could you think that? Why would you even put those words together? All right, then we agree. He's not making any moves. It's this Dr. Ramona chick. No, Witsky. I googled her. She's pretty cute. Really? All I got from Leonard was the Toblerone bar had nuts. <laughs> Oh, and get this, I saw an articulating ladder with dual leg leveling, which delivers stability and adaptability to uneven terrain. Sounds like a big night. <laughs> you know, Raj made the funniest joke. He said, which is the best ladder to use to hang myself? <laughs> so you're keeping busy? You're not lonely? Oh, not at all. I've had outings with Leonard and Raj in the evening, and, oh, I had lunch with Dr. Nowitzki. Who's he? Oh, no, Dr. Nowitzki is a woman. Uh, really? Uh, when did you meet her? Many years ago, back when she was a grad student. Uh, she's always been a huge fan of my work, and now she's doing research at Caltech. Huge fan, you say? <laughs> Yes, I think you'd like her. She's extremely intelligent, just like you. Unlike you, she's tall, blonde, and used to be an Olympic swimmer. That's terrific. I'll call you right back. Oh, hey, Amy. I gave you one job! <laughs> Keep an eye on him. How hard is that? We thought you meant not letting him run out into traffic. Which he only did once. Why didn't you tell me? We didn't want you to worry. Should I worry? No, come on, it's Sheldon. Nothing is gonna happen. That's what you said to me when I started dating him. And then five years later, bingo, bango, something happened. Yeah, but you're gonna be back in three months. You don't get it. I've been smacking that ketchup bottle for a long time. All she's gotta do is tip it over and point it at her fries. <laughs> What do you want us to do? I don't know. Might be the New Jersey talking, but this Nowitzki broad needs to disappear. That's ridiculous. As far as we know, all that happened is two scientists had lunch. Yeah, but one of those scientists is a tall, blonde Olympic swimmer. No, come on, looks don't matter to Sheldon. Because he only has eyes for you. <laughs> nice try. Oh, thanks, I was scrambling. <laughs>